My opponent has become what many people call a fiscal conservative, but a social liberal. Pretending to be against spending, and let me reiterate, pretending to be against spending, and yet advocating liberal agendas such as House Bill 176 and her stand against the heartbeat bill. But a fiscal conservative social liberal is an oxymoron. For a thoughtful treatment of this, see the link below. At the end of the writer's work who wrote this uh, essay, he touches on abortion, profiling, and endless bureaucracy in our public schools. He asks this question, and I think it bears asking for us. What are the economic consequences of a society where mediocrity is extolled in a quest for fairness, where schools cancel award ceremonies for fear of offending somebody, or worse, where everyone is given an award, thus making the achievements of true winners meaningless? In the cartoon movie The Incredibles, which shows a society where superheroes have been shut down by lawyers for the destruction and extra constitutionality involved, when the supers battle villains, one of the characters opines, if everyone is super, then no one is. What is the cost of that kind of social liberalism, political correctness? How many future Box, Edisons, Einsteins, Michelangelos, Mother Teresas, or Wright brothers are being stifled and stunted in our increasingly hostile to excellence society, or worse, are now part of hospital waste. I'm a fiscal conservative, but a social liberal. Let not that be the epitaph for America's future.